Well, I have genuinely enjoyed going through this chapter and these practices with you this week. And today we have a simple and profound practice of engaging scripture. It comes from a moment in the book where the author recounts his first bout with depression. He tries to describe it in the best words that he said he could come up with are that his depression was a gray malaise surrounding everything and every moment, a wet coat in my mind that I couldn't shake off. And he goes on to describe that depression has been a battle for him during his whole life. And he remembers that in one particular struggle he was having, his mom took him aside and cracked open the Bible and found verse 32. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and he describes one particularly bad bout of depression that he was going through. And his mom pulled him aside and opened up the book of Psalms and found chapter 32, verse 7, that reads like this. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. And his mother made him write down that verse 10 times on a note card. And he said that by the end of it, it began to convince him of what is true. He says that there is a reality beyond and distinct from the one between my ears. And it's found in scripture. And he needed the spirit to convince him through the word of what is really true. And so I'd encourage you to try that. Maybe you start with Psalm 32, verse 7, and write, You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with your songs of deliverance. Maybe you look at Psalm 139, verse 5, that we looked at yesterday. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. This day, I chose a very well-known verse, Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I literally got up my iPad so I could share my screen with you. And I wrote that verse 10 times. And I'll tell you what, exactly what the author described began to happen to me. That the reality that the scripture tells me, that's beyond and distinct from the one sometimes my mind tries to convince me of, began to take root in my heart and my soul. And I was more and more convinced that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. So my hope for you is that you would engage these practices that we talked about this week, but more so that you would engage the scripture and the God that is speaking to you through it. May you experience God's presence and his voice through the scriptures now and every time you engage God's word.